you all, this is E-Man Booze. This evening we got a really interesting spirit called Kringle Cream. What the heck is Kringle Cream? Well, it ain't got nothing to do with Santa Claus. Let me stop by saying that. What it do have to do with is this pastry called a Kringle. So up in Wisconsin, there's a big Danish community, and they make these here pastries, and what they look like, it's kind of like a big donut. It got a hole in the middle, and it might be about, oh, 12, 13 inches uh, long, and maybe 10 inches wide, and it got icing on the top of it. And what it is, it's like a, it's like a pastry dough. It could be many layers, like 30 layers up to, 30, 35 layers. They let it rise overnight. Then they fill it with like fruits, nuts, spices, different things like that and get it all rolled up and they bake it and then they put the icing on top. It sounds delicious and I ain't never had one but when I get up to Wisconsin I'm definitely going to get me a couple. And uh, so that's the inspiration behind Kringle Cream. Now who making this thing? Well there's a great craft distillery up in Wisconsin called Death's Door Distillery, and they're very well known for the for the white whiskey that they make, and they got a gin, and I think they got a vodka, and a couple other spirits. Oh, they got this thing called Wonder Mint that we're going to get into in a couple of days. And what they did is they are aligned with this company called uh, what this company called here, Sierra Yes, out of Puerto Rico, and and Sierra Yes is a big rum producer. They make the rum called uh, Don Q. I can't remember there's so many rums that got Don in it too. So they make the Don Q rum and so what I think happens here is the rum made and it shipped up here to Wisconsin and then uh, these dudes use real natural uh, uh, Wisconsin dairy cream and all the spices to get the flavorings in there to get it all mixed up and it's it's actually classified as a rum specialty on TTB on the federal government site. I looked it up because I couldn't get an answer about how this thing here was made. So, uh, but that's what it is. It's a rum specialty or a flavored rum. And uh, so let's get some in the glass and see what it's all about. Wait, we might want to just do this once or twice here with any kind of cream liqueurs. Uh, well, it ain't a liqueur, it's a rum now, flavored rum, but anything that's got cream in it, usually it might get funky and separate on you. This is, uh, wow, look at this, look like a glass of milk. All we need is some Kringles here, we'd be about set. Look at that, look how that coats that glass. And the funny thing is, there ain't no separation here. And that's a hard thing to do if you're a distiller. So I don't know what they do and how they combine in the the cream and the and the flavorings with the rum, but this, that's really cool. Look at that. Look how I stay on the glass. It don't it don't even want to come down on the side of the glass. It just as opaque as all get out. Let's give a nose. See what it uh, smells like here. This one fun. Alright, this is what I'm picking up first. The first thing to remind me of is butterscotch. Lots of butterscotch notes. You get a little bit of spiciness, almost like a little hint of cinnamon, maybe a little allspice in there. Lots of caramelly tones. There's a, there's a little fruitiness too, nuttiness also like almonds, uh, uh, almost like pecans, like roasted or something. Mmm. Let's give a taste, see what we think. Mmm. Mmm. Like the girls in the ZZ Top videos, they got legs for days. Look at that. It don't even barely want to come down the side of the glass. Oh, just got a raisiny note in there. This tastes just like somebody made the most delicious breakfast pastry and somehow got it in the bottle. Wow! Hey, this ain't a big boy either. It's only 30 proof or 15% or alcohol by volume. And I did cheat the other day because I put some in my coffee to try it out. And it jacked the, co the coffee up to, to unbelievable notes that, that uh, I was just uh, thrilled with. My wife liked it a lot too. This is... It's got so many notes to it though. Now I'm getting more of the like raisiny cherry tones in here. It's really opening up nice. 
It's delicious. Mm-hmm. You can taste the raisins. The cream is great. The butteriness of the cream, the thickness of it, the viscosity, the mouthfeel. This here put half your Irish uh, wit, uh, what, do you, what you call them things like, oh, I can't say the name. I can say the name, but I ain't going to. You know I'm talking about the Irish creams that you, you like so much, and they're good products too. But for me, when somebody gives me something that tastes like a pastry, and it's got all the nuts and the fruits and the spices in it, and it's and it's just coats so well like this, and and just got beautiful flavors. Heck, I drink this any day over those, and I think this stuff retails for about twenty bucks a bottle. Or so it's just getting out on the market. We're just getting it here in Maryland. The, the salesman dropped it off to me the other day, so I was happy to uh, do a little review here on it. But let's see what the website is. And, and the website, I think, is KringleCream.com. It is. KringleCream.com. And, and go to the recipe section. Listen to these, some of these recipes. they got an almond Kringle, a raspberry and cherry Kringle. I like this one. Wisconsin breakfast. One pot Kringle cream, three parts strong coffee at room temperature. That's money. they got a mudslide, a macaroon, a chocolate Kringle, a lemon meringue martini. A Kringle float with root beer. Oh, the possibilities are endless. I'm not super big on a lot of cream stuff and everything, but this here is delicious, and I recommend this to all of you. So check out KringleCream.com. Check me out. I'm E-Man Booze. You can find me on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I write the Distillery of the Month column for MainStreetDistilleries.com. Bye, you all.